Hello everyone! Welcome again to our YouTube channel, Scientista. Please like, subscribe, and share. Our topic for today is about the occurrence of evolution. These are the following objectives for today. In our previous video lesson, we have learned that organisms inhabiting the Earth have changed over time. Their structures, traits, and abilities allowed them to adapt and survive in their environment. The data from fossil records, anatomy and morphology, embryonic development, and biochemistry could be analyzed to demonstrate if evolution of life on Earth has taken place. And now let us define what is an evolution. Evolution is considered as a gradual change of organisms over time wherein the modern organisms have descended from ancient organisms and keep on replacing it to fill the niches they left. We have different theories of evolution. Jean-Baptiste de Lamarck was the first evolutionist to believe that organisms change over time. Using fossil record as a guide, Lamarck was able to develop the following theories of evolution. We have the theory of need, the theory of disuse and disuse, and the theory of acquired characteristics. What is the theory of need? It states that organisms change in response to their environment. Their ability to survive help them develop characteristics necessary for them to adapt in a given environment. Another one is the theory of use and disuse. It states that organs not in use will disappear while organs in use will develop and get stronger. Lamarck believed that giraffes before have short necks, but because of the need to survive and in order to reach tall trees for food, they kept stretching their legs until they become longer and able to reach taller trees. And last one, we have the theory of acquired characteristics. It states that the acquired characteristics of giraffes, such as lengthening of the neck, were believed to be inherited by their offspring and propagated by the next generation. Let us meet another scientist who is considered as father of modern evolution. He is Charles Darwin. He proposed the more popular theory of evolution based on natural selection, which is different from the theories of Lamarck. He suggested the theory of national selection after his voyage to the Galapagos Island in HMS Beagle, where he was fascinated by the diversity of organisms he found along the journey. The theory of national selection states that environmental factors promote the survival of the fetus and eliminates the less fit. According to Darwin, giraffe species originally had a varying neck length, but natural selection favored the survival of giraffes with longer necks that could feed on taller trees that were available. Wherein, giraffes with short neck were eliminated due to lack of accessible food supply. In Galapagos Island, Darwin observed that finch species have different beak structures for different food types. The abundance of certain finch species in an island was somehow related to the type of available food for these birds. Let's test your knowledge. Describe the different theories of evolution by matching the theory with its corresponding description. It states that environmental factors promote the survival of the fetus and eliminates the last fit. The answer is... It states that the organ not in use will disappear while organs in use will develop and get stronger. 
The answer is the acquired characteristics were inherited by their offspring and propagated by the next generation. The answer is the organisms change in response to their environment. The answer is Now, using the figure below, explain the Lamarckian evolution. How does it differ from Charles' theory of natural selection? Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. These are the following references.